how to get an email address for your business. It's not the same as your Gmail, which is free, or your Hotmail or Livemail, or if you're even old enough, you have, like me, you have a Yahoo Mail account, or if you're really old, which I'm not even that old, you've you probably got, got one of these. You probably got an AOL got mail. Uh, email address. You've got mail. But um, business is different. You, you don't want to um, play around with business. You want to get your domain.com or, you know, your coffee shop, johnscoffeeshop.com. You want to go with G Suite, which is $5 per user. You get a Gmail, Maps, all the Google products, but in your own domain. Uh, now, this video is going to be about showing you how to do the uh, next option, which is cheaper, which is even free for five users. You can go with free, you can go with a dollar, you can go with three dollars, you can go with four, six, I don't know, per user. Uh, if you just need five email addresses, I suggest you go with the free. Um, I've included links to uh, Zoho Mail, to G Suite in the bottom. But uh, G Suite is pretty much, you just sign up for it, it's five dollars per user. Um, if you want to go with this, I'm going to show you how to sign up for Zoho Mail. For, I'm going to do it for free because I just basically have a website that needs an email address uh, for contacting or info or whatever. So if you stick around, I'm going to show you how to do this in a quick way. I have another video that is a very long video. It's about 45 minutes. So uh, bear with me and um, let's get right to it. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get right down to it. You can click on the link below, which is an affiliate link, which only means that if you sign up through my link, I will get a little commission. And I know some of you uh, are going to say, oh, let's just go to Google and do a search. Just a scam, blah, 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 whatever. I sh uh, let's just go to Google and type Zoho Mail or just follow my link. Um, you're going to get to a place like this and um, you're going to uh, pick the plan. Now, pick the best plan that you want, the dollar, the three, the four. Um, they even have, like I said, for five users, they even got a free one. That's the one I'm going to pick right now because I don't really need that many emails, uh, subscribers. This is where you're going to input your domain. If you're going to buy a new one, go with the yellow arrow. If you're going to, if you already have one, go with the green arrow. I already have one, so I'm just going to click on add. The next thing it's going to try and do is you need to verify it with your phone. You need to enter your phone number and follow through. And over here, once you do that, it's going to ask you what state in the United States you're in. So pretty much just wait until um, I'm just going to close all these tabs and leave my DNS uh, provider up. Um, the following thing that's going to try to do is uh, you're going to need to um, uh, provide DNS servers. Like uh, I use Go uh, Cloudflare. I don't use GoDaddy or I mean, I have my own server, but my DNS provider is Cloudflare. Yours might be Namecheap or it might be GoDaddy. Uh, you can figure that out on your own. You can look at a video, but pretty much you're just adding DNS records. Uh, you need to add a uh, TXT record to verify that you own this domain. Obviously, if you own it, you're going to have the access to this and you're going to need you're going to need access to uh, your uh, DNS record um, editing. You're going to need to edit. Just follow through these. These these are your MX records. You need to go in, in the MX records. This is how you receive uh, email. So you need to go to your um, provider and add these MX records. And whatever MX records you have, you're going to have to delete from, like, uh, for example, Namecheap already puts a bunch of MX records or GoDaddy or whoever you register your domain with. I use it. I use Namecheap. So you're going to have to go ahead and delete these. Okay, so I, I'm right here, I'm doing... Um, just verifying the next thing you're going to verify is your fps oh, sorry spf record i always have a problem with that word and um 
I apologize, guys. I recorded this earlier and I'm just uh, talking over it. So if it seems like, you know, this is not synchronized. Uh, sorry about that. But the, yes, very important. SPF record needs to be needs to say Zoho is this is basically you authorize a Zoho mail to send to send mail from from this application now the next thing is the DKIM records you have to make sure just follow through how to um, add the DKIM record you have to make sure this is in there this uh, you could just type anything you want on there um, I think I typed email or something like that um, and just type anything you want because this is going to be a public DNS record uh, and then basically you go back to your DNS settings copy the host name create a, a TXT record name it uh, whatever you created it and then copy all that stuff and paste it into your uh, domain name system um, this is gonna take a while this is gonna take uh, a good I don't know 30 minutes I, I have okay th there's that Zoho mail app if you want it to install it on your iPhone or on your Android device uh, it's already been set up basically once you're set up in order to, to go back and check all this stuff you need to go to that control panel um, you you want to verify your SPF record it's basically verifying that you you that you filled it out um, the same thing for the DKIM uh, record all that stuff is verified so you got to make sure your X you got to make sure your MX records your text records and your SPF record is there um, right now I'm just adding a user you can just add whatever you want. Um, one thing to remember, SPF and TXT records, sometimes uh, there's no SPF record on your DNS setting. So you just create a TXT record, which is just a text record, but it needs to say that whatever you have in there, the V SPF equals one that, you know, you give permission to whoever you want uh mail. In this, in this case is a Zoho mail to be able to send mail on behalf, on your behalf. So, um, this is how you log in to your email account. You go to Zoho Mail and then you click log in. Right now, it's not going to work because the account, the username that I added, was is not a uh, contact. It's it's, Val it's Valorant dot support. That's what I should have. That's what I should have typed. But um, I'm just going to uh, create a, an alias for this email account. And I'll be able to log in once I once I set the alias. I know it because I recorded this and I had a little problem right here. Um, I'll show you. What I, OK, there you go. You're going to add a new alias. Basically, an alias is just another name for the email account. So he'll he'll get email at Valorant.support at Valorant.com or at contact at Valorant.com. Whatever your domain is, you can have different alias for different email accounts. But with the free Zoho mail account, you only get five. You can only create five usernames. So if you need more, then you have to upgrade. Okay, so it should work now. There you go. So I just created an account and I wanted to test it. I wanted to log in. You can do this on your computer or you can just download the Zoho mail app on your phone and do it from your phone. Um, same thing is going to try to ask you for your, um, state, what state you're in. I'm going to just put New York because this company is in New York. So it's got all kinds of different things like Gmail, calendar, tasks, notes, contacts, bookmarks. The paid versions has even more like customer relationship management and a bunch of stuff that I'm not even going to go into this video. It's just, just like. It's just trying to compete with uh, Gmail and Google G Suite, which has a bunch of stuff. So um, right now I just tested this email account and I'm good to go. Um, 
I have total users five, uh, two. You can have up to five in this free account. Uh, one thing I want to say, if you just registered a domain, a brand new domain, you are going to get in, uh, into problems sending email the first like five days or the first two weeks because you got a fresh domain and some of the mail servers are not going to know about you or you're, you're not going to have a priority. So that wh what does that mean? Well, what that really means is your email is not going to get delivered to the inbox. It's going to go into the spam folder. Right now, what I'm doing is um, this is a website that um, has. Uh, I'm going to install the Zoho Mail plugin in the WordPress because I want to send mail, any email uh, that I need to send, I wanted to send it with the Zoho, uh, my Zoho mail domain. You know, I want it to look official. I want it to look at, you know, at your business.com. So this is the way to, this is the way to, uh, to do it. Let me pause. Let me pause this. Cause I want to, I want to show you again, what, um, where you're going to install this uh, plugin and, and, and what you need to do. So I'm sorry. I probably talked over it. All right. Sorry guys. This is, you just go to plugins on WordPress and you search for that Zoho mail for WordPress plugin, go to your, uh, to, uh, to your Zoho mail settings. And I'm going to show you how to set this, how to set this up. Uh, you need to create a developer account once you're logged in to your um, domain email and you're going to uh, follow the link on that plugin and it's going to take you here. You're going to click on the server and uh, this is whatever name you want your uh, the home page, you know, if it's HTTPS or if it's not, which I hope you're not using HTTP by itself because everything now should be uh, HTTPS. So you got to copy this authorization redirect URI and copy it here because I tried to do this before and it didn't work. So this is what it looks like. You just create a, uh, I guess, an application. It's going to give you a client ID and it's going to give you a client secret. And then you're going to go to your plugin. You're going to type uh, paste your client ID and you're going to paste your uh, client secret. And that's it. Uh, now make sure that the email that you, it, the email that you're putting in here, it's it's an email that's on your email account on the Zoho side on the control panel because it, it, you'll have a problem if it's not like me right here. Uh, I just hit saved and then you can see on the top left it says invalid from address. So that address has to match. If it doesn't match, again I'm trying to put contact at valorant.com and I don't have that. For my email i have to put in my admin email because that's that's the account that i got the client id and the uh, secret from let's see if it works now should be authorized should say invalid from address okay let's try it again oh it's got a capital p uh capital p it should be a lowercase p it has to be exact i remember having a problem with this so let's do it again So that's it. Access granted. That's what you should get. Once you have that, then anything WordPress send, any email that WordPress sends, it's going to go through Zoho Mail. And remember, there is a limit. If you're going to send a lot of emails, do not go and use this. If you're going to send more than, a, uh, I think it's 300 emails a day, don't use uh, Zoho Mail or uh, I think Gmail is 500 if you wanted to have like a Gmail account. But in this case you um you would upgrade to another uh uh tier and then you can send more emails but if you're gonna do a lot of marketing with your wordpress i recommend using uh sendgrid sendgrid.net which you can send up to i don't know ten thousand emails a day if that's what you're gonna do but this is just a simple email you know uh website that uh, people are just gonna register and then they're gonna um get an email I'm probably probably not even going to get 100 emails a month. So I just want them to come from the domain. Uh, in this case, that is sending the email and, it, 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 you know, you want it to look professional. 
I don't want to send email from a Gmail account or a Hotmail or a AOL or uh, or a Yahoo. Okay, guys, that's it. If you want to help me, subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. It's kind of like a second video to make it shorter for those of you that just want to get the information. I appreciate you watching this video and have a great day, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.